Hey guys, it's Rave. This is episode 2 of Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. In this episode, I would like to focus on just the intro quest line. Um, as I said in my last video, I do have mods installed and I will list them for you in the description box below if you're interested. Uh, I have never played as a dwarf commoner before, so this is going to be pretty interesting. Let's see, I'm going to choose um, Warrior and dual weapon, definitely. Um, I'm not the sword and shield or two-handed kind of girl. I'm more of a dual wheel, slice the bad guy into little bitty bits and pieces. And actually, actually I should probably be playing a rogue instead of a warrior, but I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Mm, difficulty. I, I'm not adventurous enough to play Nightmare, so I'm going to play normal. Um, maybe an another game I'll try Nightmare, <laughs> but not now. I love this. This is so pretty. It's a little morbid, but whatever. <laughs> Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Orzammar largest and proudest of the two remaining Dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the Darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, Precious. You've got a sweet look. Something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat. I don't want to do this in front of my sister. Why not? She knows the slope of the land, don't you, girl? He's right. Whatever it takes to get out of this cesspool. Didn't I tell you not to talk that way to my sister? We owe you everything, Barat. We will. <laughs> You're right. Don't worry, she'll find. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> That's just rude. Um, didn't I tell you? Not to... Yeah, we're totally a badass. You told me a lot of things, not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Braids down to here, gold cap teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. All she's got to do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the easy life in the diamond quarter. Please, don't get involved. You know that never goes well. Not that he said squeeze out some kid. Wow. This guy's, um, definitely not Prince Charming. How much does he think you can do? I don't like to see him treating you that way. He's right. Whatever it takes. You know what? He's I'll a treat jerk. I'll treat so. I like. As long <laughs> as you both eat off my plate. Ew. You keep your head down and say I to any job I decide is low enough for scum like you. In return, uh -huh. I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you both go free. And I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. What is he like, an uncle or something? So what are you doing here? And her son will call you uncle. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going with this That's one. That's what everyone likes. A castless with a big mouth. But I didn't come for the joy of your company. I've been looking at my investments, and this one hasn't borne much gold. I'm giving you another week, Precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. 
That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. Maybe I should have been a redhead. I love the sister's hair. Um, so get off her back and tell me my job. See, she found someone. I told you to watch yourself. We may not need you pretty soon. Get off her back. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. Sparak really needs a nose job. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry I had to see that too. Can't stand the way he treats us. I've seen it before, blah, blah, blah. You don't have any... Okay. Um, yeah, sure. I've always tried, though. At least I've kept you from buying your future with what's between your legs. Oh my gosh. I should have told you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Harrowmont's reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. Maybe it's your makeup, but that's just me. Anyway, um, I want you to stop working for him. I just wish we didn't have to kiss up to... Yeah. You know <laughs> the other options. Cleaning middens, begging, going to the surface. No. Unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life. I don't know why I can't join the army. <laughs> Someone like me can never actually... Yeah, right. It's not fair. He gets to push us around. I need to... Okay, yeah. Money gives him power. He's got family on the surface, which means he can smuggle up lyrium and smithcrafts and bring down silks, wines, and furs. And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it was only the castless he shook down for protection, so the guardsmen didn't care. Mm, can he really follow through? So why does he care about hustling? Yeah. As far as the nobles are concerned, he still stinks of dust town. He's got money now, but you can't buy caste, you know? No noble woman would risk a dalliance with him. His only chance to join a noble family is to claim kinship with a concubine who bears a noble son. And that's what he wants more than anything. Don't you? Imagine what it would be like not to have people look at us like we're sewer sludge. To think our lives are worth something. Can he really follow through? I don't know why I can't join the army. Yet you tell me I can become a paragon. Need to get going. Okay. It wouldn't be the first time. Geralt on the Blood Risen was born castless, you know, before he went to the surface. And he came back and won the throne. Many paragons have humble origins. All that matters is that the assembly recognizes their achievements. And once they get that vote, they found their own house and are as noble as if the ancestors themselves had made it so. Right. Oh, don't pay attention to her. She's just a bitter old drunk. She also said you'd never learn to walk or stop <laughs> dumping in the bed. Oh my gosh. Make something of yourself just to spite her. Mm. Maybe you will. But until then, we can only serve as Barat demands. And he won't like it if either of us is late. You know how desperate the nobles are for more children? They can barely field enough soldiers to hold the walls against the Darkspawn. If I could give one of them a son, the whole house would celebrate. And we'd all be raised up to noble caste to join the family. It's what Barat's betting on. That's why he paid for my clothes, my voice lessons. He wants to share the reward. Yeah, this guy, he's, yeah, horrible. Mm. You've worked hard to keep him from throwing us out. I can only imagine the horrible things he's made you do. But there are a lot of desperate dwarves in Orzammar. He could buy any one of them to run messages and knock skulls. Oh, apparently she doesn't like my job. <laughs> I don't know why I can't join the army. It's not fair. I need to get going. It's sheer folly. One more way the nobles protect their status. They say castless soldiers are more danger to each other than to Darkspawn. That it's an insult to the smith to let us touch a fine-made weapon. 
Truly, they just don't wish to insult the warrior caste by showing that given the same opportunities, we could lead an army just as well. Uh, this one. I have little love for the nobles, but they know, more than we ever will, what the Darkspawn have taken from our kind. Every noble I've met has had a brother or a nephew killed in the deep roads. Yet they let their arrogance blind them to the fact that we could help defend the city against the Darkspawn. Aye. They would even turn to humans for aid before us, it seems. There's been talk of an alliance against the Darkspawn. Even that the Grey Wardens have stepped up. But we don't have time for this now. Lesky must be waiting, and Barat won't like it if I'm late for my appointment. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight. See ya! Okay, um... Oh, <laughs> Let's see... Sure, yeah, okay. Oh, did it not go? Whoa. Alright. Really? Yes. Why won't it work? Huh. Okay, that's just stupid. Right clicking. Well, that took a while. I am gonna just click take all. I am taking it. Let's see. Oh. What? Who are you? Uh, who's that? Why are you bothering me? Rika? I really should have been a redhead. Ugh. Don't you talk to me like I'm an idiot. You <laughs> think I don't know my own kid? What are you doing here anyway? Rika said you were finally making something useful of yourself. Okay. Um, I didn't get the hair color from the, the mother, apparently. I definitely didn't get the nose from the mother. All I got from her were the eyes and the tattoo. So can I say I'm adopted? Because this is just terrible. Um, if by useful you mean cracking skulls, doesn't it bother you? Yeah, she's horning herself the body. out. <laughs> Might as well use it before a couple of kids twist it out of shape. Damn. Um, yeah. Take her! <laughs> you think I need you here? You think I need anyone? Mother of the year, yeah. So, no. That woman, I, I just don't know. About sodding time. I was starting to think I'd have to bust in and get an eyeful of that spicy sister of yours. Growl. Ew. What do they see in her that I don't see? I, I have no idea. Um. How's it shaping? I mean, I told you, yeah. You're just jealous because you want the majesty of Lesky for yourself, you shameless hussy. What Ew. do you say? I say crawl back under the pit you came from, because that's just wrong. Mm. Oh, <laughs> That does have its appeal. But as much as I'd love to keep chatting, we better get down to business. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. No such luck. Boss says we're out for a search and discipline. One of his smugglers is holding out on him. Name's Oskias, some surfacer. Barat got word that he's been selling shipments topside that never make it to Barat's ears down here. He wants us to find the rotter and see what goods he's holding back. Mm. All he told me is find him. Duster's got some family from the merchant cast. He's probably staying near their quarters. Well, if he is skimming, we kill him, of course. I mean, Barat doesn't let anyone swindle him and live. Bringing his head on a plate is completely optional, though. Oh, wow. Fine, but let's at least find out what he's done. I don't think it's right to just kill us. What sort of goods? Let okay. We're not just killing him. First we take back anything he stole, and then we kill him. Come on, you 
make him feel bad later. <laughs> it's like I have a plan. Interrogate, then kill. Whatever lets you sleep at night, my friend. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Uh, that's our crappy house. So let's run this way. Um. You're looking for a place to sleep? There's a vent behind the <laughs> vasts. You don't mind if you use it. Yeah, no. No, thank you. I, I can work anything you want. My back's so strong. I saw Prince Balin yesterday. He wore violet silk and he smelled like fresh water. He smiled at me. Oh, joy. Two bits for the needy. Do I have two bits? I oh. see you before. You're one of Barat's girls, the one with the sword. You don't know from Needy. Not until you're my age. I used to work in the mines, checking the new tunnels for bad air. Set me down with a candle, and there must have been a pocket of gas, because it went up like dragon's breath. Healer saved my life, but I can't half walk. What's a man supposed to do? Um, poor guy. You got some spare feet? If not, <laughs> a silver would fill that void real nice. Some spare feet. No, I'm sorry, I don't have any spare feet for you. Ooh, you drive a hard bargain, soldier. You looking for someone to shine your shoes, clean your pots, keep you warm at night? Oh, Lord, no, no. Um, how about help mom get rehab? <laughs> Is that an option? Just tell me, have you seen a surfacer? Is that what you're looking for? That's worth ten bits, no? Oh, haha. <laughs> Go ahead. Beat up an old man if it makes you feel better. I see your man at Tapsters. I was waiting out back, but they wouldn't tip me the dregs off the ale barrel. Said it was going to compost. But I saw another brad there with his surface money, and they served him. Called him Ascaius, sir. You think I got that close? Tavern keepers, they know all I have to pay with is dirt. Now get out of here, you're scaring off the other pockets. <laughs> alms, alms wow. for the poor. Yeah, yeah, alms for the poor. Please, I just need a bed, somewhere to sleep, a fire. Hey, fire's right next to you. Just, you know, right there. That's one of your problems solved. Spare silver. My boy needs medicine. The docs say he won't wake without it. Don't look at me like that. Uh, I was beautiful once. Really? I was beautiful. You were beautiful? She was beautiful once. Upon a time. I guess. <laughs> Oh boy. Come on. Come on, load. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Alright. Um. So how do you cast this breed like rats? Oh. You're so friendly. Ugh. Don't touch me. <gasps> Wait. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'll touch you again. <laughs> That's so funny. Commoners. Have you heard? King's got a team who found traces of Bronca in the deep roads. Oh? Found her body, did they? No, tools. Signs of camp, things like that. Paragon or not, Bronca's dead. She's been gone two years. No one survives the deeps that long. Mm, tapster? All right, let's save this and let's see. Rave, cause rave, rave. Um, yeah. 